As you have already learned in my introductory video about Fiori, spaces are a way to display the content on our Fiori Launchpad. To activate spaces, if we are in an S4HANA on-premise system, we need to navigate to transaction code STC01. That's STC01. Then you need to open up the task list ZAP underscore Fiori underscore foundation underscore S4. Inspect this one. And over here you need to mark the row called Activate and configure Fiori Launchpad for spaces and pages. And this one you simply need to execute via the button over here. I've already done this in my system, but you should then receive a success message called something like created FLP property space enable user equals true. Once this is done, we navigate to the Fiori Launchpad via slash n slash ui2 slash FLP. On the Fiori Launchpad, we need to search for the application called Manage Spaces. You can only access this application if the BR underscore administrator role has been assigned to your user in the backend in SU01. So now we click on Manage Launchpad Spaces. And over here we have two tabs. One for custom created spaces and one for the predefined spaces that are already available and shipped by SAP. As we are going to create a new one, go to the custom created and then click on create. We need to provide a space ID that should start with Z, let's say test space, something like that. Then a space description that can be up to 100 characters. This is used for admins, so let's call it the same. Test space like that. And then we have the space title. So this is quite important because later on in our home page, it will be displayed over here for the end user. So the space title will be visible to the end user. We create a space called purchaser. We can simultaneously create our first page for the space. So a space itself can consist of one to n pages. So let's also do this, create a first page. Then we also need to provide a page ID. Let's say Z strategic purchasing like that. Take the same for description and the title should be strategic purchaser. And then we click on create. So in this stage, the space would basically be already available for end users. If we don't want it to be available for end users yet, then we mark the line and click on set hidden like that and the page visibility will change to hidden. But for us it's fine for the showcase so we set it to visible. Here first of all under the general data tab we could still change the description and the title of our space. And over here you can also see the sort priority. So it could be that we have multiple spaces assigned to our user roles that are indeed assigned then to the users themselves. And we can actually influence where on our homepage the spaces should be shown. So should they be shown further on the left over here or further on the right. The lower the third priority, so it can be from minus 100 up until plus 100, the further it will be displayed on the left. So this one will be then the first space if we view from left to right. And then we could have a second space with minus 50 that would be displayed further right and so on up until plus 100. Now we inspected this page already. Let's for now save this space via save first and we will add content to it later. Afterwards we need to switch to the backend system again and go to transaction PFCG. Over here we now need to assign our new space to the roles. The roles themselves are assigned to the users, otherwise you can't access the space. If you want to learn more about user management, make sure to check out my video about the transaction code SU01. So now let's open this one here. This is a normal purchaser role. We go to menu, then we go here on the downwards pointing arrow, zap for your launchpad, launchpad space. And all we now need to do is here, insert our test space and click on continue. And that's basically it. Now back in the Fiori launchpad in the manage spaces app, we can see that the role assignment has a one in brackets now. And here you can see that we assigned the space successfully to the role. Now it's time to add content to the page. So let's click on edit, go to pages and then click on the page like that. Now click on edit. Over here we can now design the layout for the page. So a page is subdivided into sections. Let's say this is a section like that. Now we can actually over here on the right hand side search for some applications. Let's say change purchase order this one, create purchase order 
let's actually change the sequence here then display purchase order then we have another section let's actually give this some meaningful names like purchase order management and another section let's say purchase order documents like that here we add display purchasing documents by material group something like that let's say one more and that's basically it should be sufficient for now so you can see here we have one space a first page we can also add more pages i will show you in a minute and one to n sections with one to n applications and for sure one application can be assigned to multiple sections if needed let's save this one and now we can see how it looks like before saving we could actually also always click on this preview icon over here and see how it looks like before actually saving close the preview let's now create one more page for our space therefore we go to manage launchpad pages like that click on create provide an id let's say z operational purchasing description is the same then the title operational purchasing and create now let's first save this one then we assign our new page to our already created space via manage spaces click on our test space on the pages tab click on edit then search for our page that operational purchasing add this one over here now we have two pages for one space save this one now we can go back to our manage pages select our page again you can see it's now assigned to our space and now we can actually go to page content click on edit and now the system is able to derive all of the applications from the space because the space itself is connected to our user role which is connected to our user so let's enter one more tile over here just for showcase operational procurement something like that and then let's actually just add some random apps it really doesn't matter right now this should be fine so save now it's time to go to our landing page again you will still see our old structure with the groups so no spaces over here to enable the spaces we need to navigate to our user icon over here settings pages use spaces and save then refresh your page and here we can see the result so this is our space it is aligned on the far left next to my home because we maintained it this way and over here we can see our two pages so i can go on strategic buyer and i will see my page for the strategic buyer and then I have the operational purchasing over here. Yeah, and this way we can display all of our assigned applications in a really sophisticated way. Thanks a lot for watching till the end. I hope you enjoyed the session. If so, then please subscribe to my channel. Do not miss any more videos. And see you next time.